Hello and welcome back to Ready Steady DIY. Well, as some of you know, I've worked in the film and television industry now for over a couple of decades. I've seen a lot of things change, cameras, lighting, but the one tool that has remained throughout my entire career on a film or television set is the mighty C47. In other words, the clothespin. We use clothespins for all kinds of things. It's a really, really, really useful tool. I feel like people outside the film and television industry don't really know how great a tool it could be. So today I'm gonna tell you. Okay, let's get going. <laughs> So the first application for the clothespin on a film or television set is in the lighting department. Up until quite recently, we have used lights that get really, really hot. And there are barn doors on the front of most lights, which help us to shape and direct the light. In front of those barn doors is usually where we would use clothespins to clip lighting gels that would color the light or diffuse the light or otherwise modify the light in some way. Clothespins are super useful because they clamp right onto the doors. If there's a little bit of wind, it resists the wind but because there's heat there, the wood of the clothespin generally resists that too. The wardrobe department often uses clothes pegs. If a shirt isn't fitting quite right, a performer doesn't look super svelte, take a clothespin around the back of the shirt, pinch it as tight as you need it to be, attach the clothespin, super svelte look. We use clothespins for holding paperwork quite a lot. You can take some snot tape to adhere your clothespin to the front of the monitor, and then you've got a perfect place to clip your script or pen or whatever you want. Sometimes you're on location and you wanna clip open a curtain that's just not cooperating. Clothespin to the rescue. The other great thing about traditional spring-loaded wooden clothespins is you can take them apart. When you take apart a clothespin, you've got two very small wedges that can be used for a whole host of things. Obviously, if you've got a chair that's wobbly, that kind of thing, a micro wedge like this is pretty useful. But also if you've got a little product that you've got to shoot on a table and you want to tip it up towards the camera a little bit, but you don't want to see what's doing the tipping, clothespin to the rescue. I've seen set deck guys take a little sponge from the makeup department, clip it into the mouth of a clothespin, and then you've got the perfect dabbing device for painting detail wherever you need to do that. And one of my favorite tricks with the C47 is to take them apart, turn them inside out, put them back together. Then you've got a tiny little clamp that has way more reach and a much lower profile. And because on a film and television set, you're always gonna find clothes pegs, the average film technician takes them home and uses them there. I use them to hold chip bags closed. We've got these little plastic things that I hate. They're never the right length. They're supposed to hold the whole width of the bag closed, but they're never the right size for the chip bag. They, I just, I don't like it. A much more elegant solution, roll the top of the chip bag down, clamp it with a clothes peg. If it's too big, use two clothes pegs. If I've got a mixing spoon, I don't want sliding into my pancake batter, I use a clothes peg. But the thing a lot of people overlook is you can just use the clothes peg as it was intended. I know everybody tumble dries their clothes, nobody has any time to like do anything else, but I'm telling you, I love walking around smelling like fresh air and sunshine. And while there are some inconveniences to air drying your clothes, there are a lot of pluses too. Your clothes last longer, and I think they smell better. Wooden clothespins are really good for this. If the clothespin is good, it's not gonna over clamp your clothes and leave little dimples on it, but it will keep the clothes on the clothesline. So now, I don't know if I've convinced you that clothespins still have a lot of relevance for you and your life, but for me, they definitely do. And when, in 2009, the company that makes these clothespins decided to stop, that was a bad day for me. I ran down to my supplier, I bought out every bag they had. This is all that's left. The reason I I did that is because I knew that in an era where nobody air dries their clothes anymore, the kind of clothespin that was going to take the place of these clothespins was not going to be as good. Look at the quality difference here. It's shorter. It's thinner. It's not even made of hardwood. You can put your thumbnail into this. The spring is weaker. It's, it's not going to hold your clothes on a line. It's not going to be able to be turned inside out. You're not going to be able to do much with this at all. But this is the clothespin that you will find if you go to a big box store today and ask for a wooden clothespin. I just think that's kind of sad. I know not everybody wants to air dry their clothes, I get it. And maybe the time of the clothespin really has passed, but I don't think that's 100% true. I still find a big use for clothespins in my life. I thought I'd make this video to see if you could find some for you. Anyway, that's it for the clothespin story. But hey, is there a tool that you used to like to use that they don't make anymore? If so, leave that in the comment section below. I really wanna know. Otherwise, if you could like or subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. That really helps the channel out. So thanks for listening. Until next week, take care, stay safe, have fun with your DIY projects, and I'll see you next Saturday.